district. I'm near Baslow and I'm heading to Chatsworth House aka Pemberley in the <laughs> 2005 Pride and Prejudice. Um, it was a bit of an ordeal to get here. My train was cancelled so I had to wait about an hour and ten minutes and then get on a different train um, to Sheffield instead of Doran Totley. But I'm here now. I was meant to walk a different way but then talked to some man on the bus who walks a lot around these parts and apparently this place is much nicer to get off and walk so always talk to locals guys always talk to locals and always make friends and also always be friendly just always be a lot of things <laughs> she oh this is like ultimate english countryside <laughs> into the center, um, but I'm assuming this must be the real way that you need to go. And because I'm still trying to be an adult, I brought my couscous salad from like three nights ago. Let's hope this is the right way.
time since I actually spoke to you and updated you on what's happened but I'm at the train station now and I bought a ticket to Manchester and bus the bus the train should be coming in like 10 minutes or something like that but yeah so I was on the walk and then there was just this family um, that was also doing the same walk um, pretty early on but they were just genuinely so lovely like they let me walk with them for like the last I don't know two or three hours um, and then they drove me to the train station because they checked the train times and they drove me to the closest train station that would get me to Manchester as quickly as possible and they shared um, like these what do they call them? these like little toffees covered in chocolate with me I know that's like a really small thing but just the whole experience was really lovely I don't know why but I just oops, sorry I'm coming in to sit down now but I genuinely met some of the loveliest people going on walks by myself. Um, I think it's just like being alone makes you really approachable to others. And so even though I, you know, started off today alone and that was like nice still, like it's nice being able to spend as much time as you want in a certain place, but it was also really lovely um, walking with that family <laughs> um, and just chatting with them. Yeah, it was a great day basically. And mainly because of them. Like they were just so kind um, and so lovely. So I'm now back in Manchester and I'm heading to a place called Northern Seoul um, which does grilled cheese and it's actually on the list of like a hundred places slash things to do in Manchester that the uni gave us so I'm keen but I think I'm gonna see if I can get a takeaway because I want to get home my feet are wet and I'm just genuinely really tired um didn't get much sleep last night and had to get up at like 6am this morning so Ugh. so this is northern Seoul up here I'm finally back at home and I've got my grilled cheese. It was actually really pricey. Eating out in the UK is super expensive. Like this grilled cheese um, with like, I don't know, some balsamic vinegar and tomatoes and stuff. Um, I think it cost about like 10 Australian dollars and this was two pounds. So that's like another like three to four Australian dollars, which like, I mean, are you seeing the size of that thing? Tiny. Um, but, you know, I'm glad to be home, I'm glad to have a meal, and I've got Bake Off on. Well, I'm about to put Bake Off on, so it's gonna be a good night. <laughs> and I'm gonna sleep well tonight, that's for sure. Okay, so here's the taste test. Let's have a look. I mean, I don't know why it cost, like, 10 Australian dollars, that's for sure. But, I mean, it's grilled cheese. You can't really mess it up. It tastes delicious anyhow. <laughs> 